Boker Tov, everybody. I hope you're doing really well. Certainly a very difficult time for uh, Israel continues, of course, and for the Jewish people with everything that we're dealing with these days. Um, news this morning that potentially there will be some good news in terms of the release of hostages, certainly very important uh, in terms of the mitzvah of redeeming captives and certainly such an unimaginable time, and we pray for good news on that front uh, this morning. I'm thinking about Thanksgiving, and I'm thinking about how it's really hard right now to find moments of gratitude. People are struggling. The Jewish people are struggling. We read the news, both about Israel, certainly the most, but in general, and we despair. And many people are sort of walking around in a little bit of a fog, not really feeling much in the mood for turkey and pumpkin pie. And yet our tradition is one where we are reminded that gratitude is critical each and every day, right? From the moment that we wake up and say the moda'ani, grateful for being alive, to all the blessings that we say each day, gratitude is something that we are supposed to hold on to as Jews every day. In fact, in the Torah portion this week, Parshat Vayetze, uh, Leah and Rachel give birth to children, and Leah gives birth to Judah, and says, Odeh et Adonai alken karash mo Yehuda. I give thanks to God, and so I call his name Judah. Judah, Jews, Judaism, from Odeh, Modeh, to give thanks. We are a people for whom gratitude is at the center of everything that we are. At least that's how it's supposed to be. How do we hold on to gratitude when times are difficult? I was thinking this morning about a former congregant who was a Holocaust survivor. His name was Alex Bauer, and he used to tell us a story about how he survived in Dachau. And one piece of his story that always has stuck with me is how a fellow uh, survivor had given him in the camp a frozen potato. He shared this frozen potato from the ground with Alex. And Alex said that that potato saved his life. That he held on to that potato for weeks and used it as nourishment for weeks and was forever grateful for having that potato. Can we learn to be grateful for the small things when it seems like there's darkness all around. If Alex could do it, so can we, and so we must. And so, as we enter into this week of Thanksgiving, as we sit around our Thanksgiving tables, I want to ask you to do two things. One, I want you to really think about that for which you are grateful. Be explicit, be specific. Go around the table and give thanks for some specific things that you have that you're feeling very grateful about in your life right now. In terms of Israel, it's also an opportunity to sit around the table and talk about your feelings and share a little bit about what's going on, have conversations across the generation about what all of this means, the resurgence of anti-Semitism in America, the challenges uh, with Israel at war right now. Those two things don't seem like they go together. But I think that they do. We have to hold on to the difficulty that we're experiencing, be open about it, talk about it, be sad about it, and at the same time, hold on to the potato. <laughs> hold on to that for which we are grateful. Be explicit about it. Be grateful about it because that's what we are supposed to do as Yehudim, as Jews, as people who are to be filled with gratitude. I wish you all a meaningful, a happy, and a healthy Thanksgiving. May we see better days ahead.